Well, I'm finally ready to mix up the seam putty for my Mini Most XL, and it's been a while, and I finally figured out, and I've asked a lot of people about uh, what they use, and this, I hope, is the final mixture and the final stuff that I have to get ready. I was fortunate. I was up at Duke's Boat in Port Carling a couple of days ago, and uh, they gave me a very short workshop on what to do, and we ended up coming home with a small sample and since then I've mixed up some more to add to it and this is what the final putty looks like. Now they were kind enough to show me how to mix it up and the stuff to use so I'm going to demonstrate that whole process right now. So I'm just going to seal this back up again here. Now to my surprise it wasn't a big secret recipe it was simply a modification of this DAP 33 glazing compound here. And I just picked it up at the local hardware store. It was $9.99. And when you open it up from the package, it is this very white gray color. So I'm going to empty that out. It should pop out. Now it's important to let this compound dry out a bit before you actually start applying it into the seams of the deck. But I'm going to let that dry out after I apply the pigment. So that's what it looks like. And the first thing I have to do is put on these gloves because I have to add some powdered pigment to it. And this is simply dried pigment. It comes in a powdered form here. And it kind of looks like that. So what I'm going to do is squish this out. Now this is, putty is still a little cold here. Uh, it mixes up a lot better when it's warmer. But I'm just going to put some holes in it here and add a little whitener around here. And this just adds a little more shine to it. it brings out the color. So I'm going to start to knead that in. Now, I forgot to mention, I'm mixing it up on a couple of uh, marble tiles here um, that I put down in my bathroom a number of years ago. And it's just uh, a couple of leftover tiles that I've glued to a um, piece of plywood. And it's important that you need the putty on something that is a very non-porous surface and keep it clean as well. Right now the putty's too wet to use. It has to dry out considerably more. But I'm going to add some more whitener here and continue mixing this in. All right, I've been mixing for about 15 minutes here, and I've got the first white pigment mixed in. I've separated the batch into two, and now I'm going to start to add my yellow color. Now, what really surprised me when I was up at Duke Boats was the intensity of the yellow that they use on their boats. So this is what I have to match here. It's a very, very brilliant yellow color and apparently yellow is a quote Canadian thing. Um, they use yellow putty on the uh, seam fillers of Canadian boats and American boats tend to be white. So my boat is a Canadian boat so I'm going to make it yellow. So 
also like the white. This is a powdered paint pigment. And I'm just going to mix it in my little craters here. And I've split my putty into two pieces. It just makes it a little easier to mix it up. And gloves are a necessity for this uh, because once the powdered pigment gets wet, it actually almost turns into paint and it will make your hands very yellow. So the gloves are very important. This is much like kneading dough when you're making bread or sculpting with clay. As you can see, I've split the batch here and I've mixed up a little bit at a time. So you can see this is becoming much more consistent in terms of pigment. This one's still very much modeled. Um, so I'm going to keep rolling that. And then once these sort of four chunks are done, then I'm going to split each one in half and mix them with the other just to make sure that my pigment is the even tone all the way through the entire batch. And then of course, I'll take the other batches that I've made here, and I'll mix those together with these ones as well to make one sort of huge lot of color. So I do have color consistency. I'm mixing up three tubs of this, and hopefully three of these will give me enough seam putty to do my entire boat. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to go back and try and color match. So as you can see, I'm almost finished here. And you can see also why it's important to wear gloves because this becomes like very gooey yellow paint here. I'm just going to check the other batch that I did up yesterday. And it's a little darker in color, but what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to mix all three batches together. And then, once I have everything mixed out, I'm going to let it dry for a couple of hours. Take the whole thing, flatten it out uh, with a rolling pin, uh, like a big slab of dough, and cover it with paper towels and let it dry out. It's still a bit too wet to apply in. It should it should crack a little more than this. So you don't want it too wet, but you don't want it too dry either. So I hope I'm doing the right thing now. I'll keep mixing this putty up and then I'll mix all three different batches together and then hopefully this will be the last time I have to apply the seam filler. <laughs> 